Let's get started. This is the speaking test of International English Language Testing System taking place on Tuesday, 19th November 2019 at Horton Hilton, center number KL72234. The candidate is Rajan Singh and the candidate number is 724243. The examiner is Pramod Rana and the examiner number is 9256742. I'll begin with the introductory question and I'll ask you some question about personality. Tell me, are you very conscious about your personality? I think I am quite conscious about my personality. Usually I take care of the way I look and I dress according to the occasions. Although I am student but I think I have an image to maintain and for that I have I behave in a particular manner. I am a part of many social and cultural events and gatherings so I choose my costumes and other accessories accordingly. What are the personality traits which other admires in you? Well, I am well known for my com good communication skills. Also, I have a fair knowledge of English language. So, I also have an impression of being an above average student. People also know me as an extrovert personality as I can easily mix up with the everyone and uh, do not hesitate to inter interact with anyone. Is there any weakness that you want to improve? There are usually many limitations which I want to overcome. Major one being my inability to say no, I find it difficult to refuse to anything and thus I end up wasting my time on others work rather than my own. And the other one is procrastination due to which I always lag behind of my schedule. Although I am working on these shortcomings and hope to get better soon. How has your overall personality changed in recent years? I have felt considerable changes in my personality in recent years. Uh, I worked on few things which resulted into success. Earlier, I used to be an extrovert and used to get nervous in social gatherings. It was difficult for me to take an initiative by myself, but later on, I joined spoken class uh, which brought a transformation in my personality and turned me into an extrovert and my confidence also surged. Have you ever received any formal training for your personal grooming? I have not taken any separate coaching for personality development. I was not uh, on I was only during my spoken English training that my teacher propelled me to come on stage and speak which improved my self confidence. Now I can speak to anyone and do not hesitate even on stage. Rajan, now it's time that we move towards the second section of the interview, which is called cue card section. In this section, you will be given a topic. You will have a minute to think about it. You can note down your ideas. And then you have to speak from 1 to 2 minutes. Your cue card for the day is Describe something that you would like to do if you are given a day off. Tell me what would you do? Why would you do that? How it would help you? So, this sounds like a very nice topic. It makes me smile when I think about getting a day off because of late. My life schedule has remained very hectic. Although I am a student and I do not need to take a leave like an employee takes for his boss. Uh, but uh, let me tell you that I have been so immersed in my studies that I haven't allowed myself to go at any holiday in a long while. But uh, in case I get a day off, I would like to finish my tasks which are now pending for many days. One of such tasks is to read a book. Uh, a year ago, I took a resolution to read at least one book each month. It is also my hobby to read literature related to a range of various topics. I also heard that uh, successful people read a lot of books and this habit keeps them much ahead than others. I even bought a book named 5am club by Robin Sharma. But last month, I was too busy in revision of my syllabus that I couldn't re read it. So I would like to take a half day off to read this book. One of my friends recommended me to this book. Uh, he told me that this book talk about the people who every day get up before 5am and are the successful. 
this book also explain the techniques we can use to get up early in the morning uh, by getting up early one get a head start from others and thus can achieve more from the same 24 hours we all have this is the reason why i am so eager to read this book it has been always my problem to get up early i snooze my alarm when it rings and keep delaying my morning routine but this procrastination cost me very dearly when i finally get up i end up having no time for morning work or other important tasks i just get enough time to get ready and go for my classes i really hope to get some practical tips from this book by which i can improve my time management and read its benefits Raja, now it's time that we move towards follow-up questions, which is the last part of the interview. Tell me, does everyone enjoy enough number of holidays during study or job in present time? It depends upon the kind of school one study. Most of the private schools allow less holiday, whereas public schools have fixed number of holidays in each year. Similarly, private job follow strict work schedule and uh, have fewer holidays than government jobs. Why do you think a seasonal breaks are required? It is very necessary to take an off every now and then to relax the body and mind. Our energy level depletes due to continuous work and even mind get tired. So to rejuvenate our physical and mental organs, we need to take regular holidays. In some countries or jobs, Saturday and Sundays remain off. Do you think it is good? Yes, I think it is good. Most of the western countries follow this rule. I do not believe in working too much. Uh, there must be some free time to get relaxed and to entertain themselves. Continuous slogging can result into low pro productivity and it is also harmful for our health. Nowadays, many companies provide work from home benefits. How can it be good or bad for individuals? I think it would be a win-win situation for both employer and for both employee to work from home as employee will not have to provide space and utilities to their employee and workers will save their transportation time as well of course it has a downside also when you are working from home there will be productivity issue because of lack of supervision also there can be distractions from the family should there be more holidays for female employees compared to male I think there is already legal provision for female employees to have more holidays than the, their male counterparts. Female need to have more leaves when they are raising their child or due to medical conditions. I think this is appropriate. Alright Rajan, that's all for the interview today. Have a nice day.